Hey there guys, welcome back to another exciting battle report brought to you by Gaming Grats. Today's mission is going to be no reward without risk. We've got five objectives in today's mission with the corner deployments and then the unique mission battle parameter feedback overload. So we have the chance for wizards to explode on a 4 plus after a wizard is slain. We can roll a dice and as I already said on a 4 plus they could explode and the range of their explosion is measured equal to their wounds in inches, right? So the bigger the wizard or the bigger the monster wizard, uh, the bigger the explosion we could have and do some actual damage and a nice big explosion around them when those guys get taken down or possibly if they uh, overload themselves. Uh, but as I said, we got five objectives all strewn about the battlefield here. We got lots of terrain to fight over and mix things up, make things awkward for some of those bigger, larger bases or those really large units. All right, let's take a look at today's armies. Patrick here, guys, bringing out some Skaven Eshin today. Uh, today my grand strategy is going to be Baron Icecape, so one of the newer ones, uh, going for eliminating all enemies with artifacts of power and then controlling the center of the board. And then so today, and my triumph for today is also inspired. It's kicking off for us in the leader's department. I've got my general today is one of my vermin lord deceivers. Uh, he's got the command trait Devious Adversary, so he can get some extra hits if he strikes first. And then the artifact Shadow Magnet Trinket, which lets him once per game um, have the fight first ability. And then for his extra spell, he's going to take Flaming Weapon. Um, I also have another Vermin Lord Deceiver. He is also going to be taking uh, Flaming Weapon. Going to be kind of trying to use those guys as aggressively as possible. Um, then I have a Death Master hiding um, in our one of our units. And then a Grey Seer as well to accompany our great Eshins and tell them that the Horned Rat is with them. And then for Battle Line, I have three 10-man units of Gutter Runners. And then I have a 20-man unit of Night Runners, and that is where our Deathmaster is hiding. Can't really keep it secret, but it's the only unit that he can hide in. Um, and then I also have the Gnashing Jaws today for an endless spell. Maybe we can get some Mortal Wounds out of that guy going today with some teleporting and unleashing that. And then we have the Warp Grinder as well. And today that is 1960 points. Oh, sorry, I guess I didn't say for my Grace here. Um, he's taken his uh, Skitter Leap, so he can teleport us around as well as the Deceivers. So we have a few um, teleports and relocations available to us, as well as the Nawholes. So hopefully we'll be able to warp around and get where we need to get going. Uh, but that is 1960 of Clan Eshin today, fitting into two battle regiments. So hopefully we get priority, because we definitely want to have control of turn one. All right, let's take a look at Jesse's army. Hey everyone, so bring back uh, a Night Hunt list, but this time I'm going to bring Nagash himself to fight the Skaven, so a very fun thematic battle. Um, Skaven trying to stop Nagash once again. Um, so going over the list, I am going to do Scarlet Doom, obviously, just because I've got so many Blade Geists. Um, my general is going to be the Guardian of Souls, who has the command trait Master of Magic, um, the artifact Light Shard of the Harvest Moon, and Hoarfrost. So really big power piece, um, hopefully being able to get my Blade Geist up to negative three rend, and then once per game you can also give them uh, the extra attacks for the Relic, and then also plus one to wound for just being him. Um, so really good power piece to make the Blade Geist even stronger. Um, we'll note also this is, um, we just got the points decrease for them. Um, so just trying that out, seeing if they're a little bit better. Um, so going over the battle line, I've got two units of 20 Blade Geists, and then a unit of 10 Blade Geists. And then to round out the list with some points, I've also brought an Emerald Life Swarm just to heal the gash if I have to, bring back some, some wounds, that kind of thing. And then also brought the Spell Portal so that I can, you know, uh, touch of death um, anything within range of it. So extending the range from 3 inches to like... I don't know, 15 or something. Um, and then, yeah, so that is the list. Uh, I am 1980 points, I believe. Um, the app hasn't updated yet, so I just did it <laughs> the old school way. Um, and then for battalions, I've just got everything in a one drop. Um, nothing really beneficial other than that. I thought about maybe taking the uh, Wizard Hunters, but I think just getting choice in the turn and with how many spells Nagash has uh, might be worth it. So yeah, that is my list for today. 
All right, here we are after deployment. Very minimal rats appearing on the field right now. We have lots waiting in the shadows, all of our gutter runners, and then our night runner is with our one and lone, only lonely warp grinder, and then the death master hiding within them. So I just have the two deceivers here, and then my grace here, here on foot. I got my general here nice and close to the knot hole, but wanted to make sure I was on at least two of the objectives that I can be in my deployment. And then we look down and the ghostly horde is unveiled and these guys are all spread out along the line nobody's getting through and the nice supporting hero is he your general today yeah he is yeah make sure you get a command trait and then the nice god of death himself nagash in the back corner there stopping any i think most uh deep strike shenanigans but you never know with my six inch deep strike if we can try and get at him but i don't think a deceiver could get in there and do too much damage to him because he is still really really tough um, but with that, I had two drops today, two battle regiments, and Jesse had one battle regiment, so he has um, control of priority for turn one. So who's going to be going first, Jesse? Um, so I'm going to be taking first turn just to get some spells out, uh, get some movement, plan ahead, that kind of thing. For um, sure. But yeah, so I'll be taking first turn. All right, let's get into Night Hunt. Turn one, hero phase. All right, so turn one, what's your battle tactic gonna be, Jesse? Uh, so we're going for magical dominance, so um, deployed yeah. outside of 30 of everything. Yep, so we have um, no one binds turn one. So it should be pretty easy to do unless I get a miscast, so hopefully yep. not. Uh, for primal dice. See, Jesse get makes one. one for us both. I do not, so we okay. each have one to start. Okay. And then for heroic actions. Let's go for a command point on the gash. Sure. Sure. He yep. gets it, I'll go for one on my general as well. I do not get it. Okay. Um, I think we're going to start uh, with Mystic Shield on himself. Okay. Which does That's go off, off, no problem. So he's got that. And then I just have to decide if I want to start casting and risk losing my battle tactic. Um, so we're definitely going to go with a cast from the Garden of Souls to summon the portal. Okay. Um, he does have Master Magic, so it does get the reroll. Okay. Six. Ooh, might be six. I always forget this one. It is. It is five actually. Okay, so five portals off, no problem. I've kind of pre-measured a little bit of what I want to do. Nice thing is, since I cast it from him, get a little bit more projection from the dash all the way from downtown. Yep. Yeah. That guy up. Um, and then, so that's all his spells, so I'll just quickly go back to Nagash, and I'm only just gonna cast his uh, signature spell, Soul Stealer. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll just cast it right on the... Thankfully no hand of dust through the mirror. Yeah. No. So does it go off? Yep. Um, so it is... Uh, so if it's D3 mortal wounds, um, if it was a nine or more, uh, which it was... Um, it goes it, off twice. That uh, suffers D6 mortal wounds instead of D3. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, I guess, yeah, and that's soul blight. Yep. Like that. And then I would heal for every wound that it does. Yep. But so it does five. So he's going to get his ward save at least. Five, five ups. Uh, he stops just one, so he takes four. Okay. Um, and do we get greedy now is the question. I think we do. Um, yeah, so we're going to cast Shade Mist. Hmm. I'll do it on the unit in front there. Okay, right in front and center on one of the 20 stacks. Cool, oh, that's kind of there, but it should be good either way. Yep, yep seven. He's plus three, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. So goes off there, so they've five. got uh, minus one to be wounded. Okay. And then for Seal of Shyash, we're just going to try and cast it on uh, the same unit. Okay. Uh, off with an eight. Yep, just barely. And I think that's. I mean, I could spectral tether and teleport closer to you if I really wanted to fight you. If you really want to. But then that really exposes me to you. Yes. So uh, let's just chill for now. Stay there. Um, we'll, Perfect. We'll give so, you the five damage and then uh, hang out. <laughs> yep. So yeah, they'll get you your battle tactic because you didn't fail any and we didn't unbind any. And then so we're gonna go to night hunt turn one movement phase. 
All right, so end of the movement phase for night hunt turn one. Everybody moving up and covering some more ground and making sure to get those objectives and get all those bodies on them. So moving up with the 20 squad that's got all the buffs on them, taking that center objective. Jesse's general and the 10 man unit moving over to support the other objective, uh, touching his deployment. And then Nagash and the other 20 man unit moving up. Nagash still staying in range of the spell portal so he can still use it in Jesse's next turn. And now has a couple of denies in range as well so we can get our easy magical um, dominance. Um, but with that, there's going to be no shooting and no charges for Night Haunt. So that's going to be it for turn one. But they do get their battle tactic for two points. And they do have three out of five objectives, so they get all max points for score one, score two, score more. So that is going to be five points for Night Haunt after turn one. And we're going to get it right into Skaven turn one hero phase. Okay, turn one hero phase for Skaven. Um, battle tactic is going to be intimidate the invaders. We're just going to try and make sure we can get uh, more of our units outside of our deployment than within. Or sorry, more than half at least. Um, and then we're going to see if we can get some more primal magic because we might need them with all those denies. Uh, so we do make one more, so we each have two total. Okay. And then with that, um, heroic action. Let's try and heal the deceiver over there. He's going to heal for D3. Ooh, and get three back. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Perfect. So he's only got um, one damage on him now. We'll do, uh, can I point on my general there? Okay. Nope. Just not get it. All right. And then for some casting, so my non-general deceiver, he's going to start and see if he can get flaming weapon. Gets it with a seven. I think Nagash was just outside for him. She does have range on my general. For so we'll do uh, guardian of souls, we'll try. Yep, we've got one. So ties nope. it. So you're good. You do, do you want to use one of your... Ooh, I guess, uh, I guess yeah, because you didn't, right? Yeah, so. uh, yeah, because I have to use mine before you... Uh, I will one. use one. Okay. Because yeah. I'm, so so, cause, cause yep. I'm so close. Yep, so you're down to one. So no flaming weapon. Um, and then he's going to try for his skitter leap, uh, which goes off with a six so far. I am going to use a primal. Makes it a seven, and it's a one. I'm not going to risk it. So. I, I don't think I have anything to deny anyway, so if you did want to take your primal back. All right. Thank you very much, yeah. Jesse. We'll keep that primal. Because he was out of range. So. Yes, for this guy. So he only yes. has one. So he will be skitter leaping, and he's going to be ending up somewhere over here i will correct exactly where he is in the movement phase but just so you guys know so we'll try for some more casting now um yeah we'll try with my general he's gonna try for um let's try and get the jaws out Ooh, that's that's with a plus one but i'm gonna have to use primal you really want to risk yeah there's a one in there never mind yeah uh, so doesn't go off Mostly because I don't think it's like insanely right, good versus my yeah. ghosts. Yeah, no, you do have um, the word. Um, so then we will try to. T do I need to teleport him? Um, let's just throw. I should have done that before teleporting him. Oh well. I'll try and throw a Mystic Shield on my general from the Grace here. That goes off just with a five. I think I'm out of range. Yeah, I think Nagash is out of range. Should be. Your guardian was in range, but oh, yeah. like you said, you thought he was. So that goes off. So he's got Mystic Shield on the general, and then he's just going to charge an Arcane Bolt. I don't think I'm going to do his teleport just yet, because we can use the Gnaw Hole for him. So he has an Arcane Bolt stored, and then that's going to be it for Hero Phase, because, yeah, I don't. I've already tried Flaming Weapon and um, Dreaded Skitter Leap, so my general is out of cast. Um, so with that, we're going to go into Skaven, turn one, movement phase. All right, so end of the movement phase for Skaven. Our Eshin forces have finally revealed themselves, bringing out all the gutter runners and the night runners. We've got my general and one of the unit of gutter runners over on the right, and the unit of night runners coming in to support the center and the warp render that brought them in. And then our other two last units of gutter runners, my gray seer and my non-general deceiver, ready to throw a lot of throwing stars here and hopefully whittle down some of these ghosts. Uh, so we're going to start with the unit actually right back here just because they might get caught out of range if Jesse takes away bodies from the center there. Um, we know those guys have the buffs but we just gotta try and take some ground and hopefully with enough concentrated fire we can bring these guys down. Because as always we're looking for sixes for those mortals. So start with these guys, we've got 30 shots. Um, 
Let's go, we'll, we'll wait and see where we might need it. So we'll save our all out attack in the shooting phase here. So we're hitting on fours, but we want those sixes. That's a pretty good roll for sixes. We got seven sixes, and then it's minus one to wound, right? Yep. Perfect. So we'll be on fours, but we will wound on fives. So just two with no rend. So the two with no rend. One gets through, so eight ward saves. All right. So they've got the five up because of shade miss. Oops. Uh, so we make two. So we lose eight, six. six. Okay. And that was from this unit? Yeah, from this unit. Okay, here. So let's do... Does everyone else still probably have range? But yeah, yeah, over here you can start making it definitely harder for the general's charge and stuff. Yes. Five, six, let's do that. Perfect. Um, and then, so with that, I'm just going to quickly double check, see how many of our gutter runners over there get some range. All right, and with that, that we'll get one of the gutter runners just out of range, but thankfully if we killed just one more of those ghosts and Jesse took them away, we would have lost seven shots out of that unit. Uh, so again, these guys going, uh, so I guess, yeah, we'll save all that attack because we're not getting maximum unit. Oh, that was a six there. Or so five sixes so far. But, ooh, otherwise, we are still missing quite a bit, but we'll take five mortals. Out of 27, that's pretty good. And then four regular wounds. Yep. So fours, oh, ooh, okay. okay. <laughs> so four. nine ward saves altogether. Yep. Two, two fives. There we go. Stop five, so take four more. So there's there's half the squad. And then and ninja we, starred there. Ninja starred. And then we're gonna go with the not so good unit, Night Runners. These kind of guys only get one shot each. Oh, almost got them all. Again, we're looking for sixes. Got four this time. Okay. Bad. And then we still hit on fours. These guys normally wound on fives, so with the minus, <laughs> they are gonna wound on sixes. So we need sixes again. No wounds. So just four mortals from those guys. So five up. Stop one, so three, three more. more. We'll take it. And then last so far, we might be able to get some more throwing, but my general is out of range with his tail now, so he'll just throw his Doomstar. How many shots? He's gonna get six shots. He's hitting on, oh, threes. So there's two mortals so far, yep. and then minus one to wounds, so still wounds, Ren doesn't matter. So let's save, go nope, through. So four damage. Four ward saves, Start two, so take two. two. more. I'm, I might go from this way now. Yeah, stop. Yeah, start weathering the other direction. Just so that we can keep a little bit of guys on the objective, just yeah, in case. Absolutely. All right. And then I'm going to grab this bundle of dice again and get ready to go with our last unit of gutter runners over here. All right, so unit behind the deceiver going into the unit of 10 ghosts. Following with no buffs. Let's see those sixes. Looks pretty good. Five sixes, I think. Oh, six. That's average. Good. And then wounding on fours because they do not have the shapeness. So that is six regular saves, six mortals. Six saves. Three more, so nine ward saves. So this one's just on sixes. Stops one, it's gonna take eight. Two models left. Hmm. Need probably the two in front of the general yeah, over there. Yeah, I think so. You know, I think he's probably got some good range on his weapons. But. Yeah. Cause yeah, he's still. If we wiped, we wouldn't. So we would be minus one because we're within twelve inches of him, so we can see him. Um, but he is still just the minus one oh. to. Um, Hit with the throwing star. Well, let's see if he can get lucky with the throwing star. I will discorporate on the general. Though. Yep, absolutely. So how many shots? Well, <laughs> not. Well. Uh, so minus one to hit. He's gonna hit on a four, so he misses. All right. All right. Glad well, I used we, that. We ate a CP at least. We he did something. 
Um, and then he's out of range because he's had to teleport outside of six, so he can't do his tail attacks. And that is going to be it for the shooting phase. So pretty solid pretty shooting successful. phase. How many? There's seven out of the thirty there. So twenty three ghosts um, cut down with throwing stars. Um, but with that, we're going to go to the charge phase, and let's start with let's see if my general can make it in there. He needs a pretty big roll. Hmm. Six. That's not going to be enough. And I'm not going to use the reroll on him. Yeah. But yeah, I think he needed an eight or a nine. Uh, we'll start with gutter runners back here. These guys need a nine. That's gonna be great. Eight. Oh, so close. Primal dice. No. Mm, yeah, <laughs> if only. Maybe next season it'll yeah. work like that if we go back to girth. Speed. Right. Um, let's go the other deceiver. I should have started with him because he's the one I wanted to make sure gets in there. He needs a six. Oof. So yeah, he's got a reroll. Get moving new dice. I've seen too many ones over there. So uh, reroll the one. You can reroll the one there. That's yeah. pretty. That's fine. Six is good. Okay. Because he's outside of six there, and he'll be able to hit this unit oh, and right. then pile in here. You did kill some, so he's farther. Is what I'm. Oh, yeah, right, that's right. why I think you do it like. Because, he's like what? Is that there? Is he up set to seven now? It's like seven and a half. Okay. Then no, we failed. We rerolled. We failed. That's fine. Uh, then we got one last chance, I guess. We got gutter runners over here, and then it might have to come down to night runners over here. Uh, so far, gutter runners, they need a big roll. Eight, that's not going to be enough. And the night runners in the center here, I think they can still get it with a nine because, yeah, from these guys to here. So we're going to get one in, and that's at least a good one because we should hopefully still have enough bodies, and we'll take that center objective to help get us um, max score for this turn. So let's charge those guys in. All right, so end of the charge phase, the night runners come swarming in and surrounding these guys. And then as we knew, uh, it's going to start of the combat phase. The Deathmaster is going to jump out and join the party and get right into combat with those guys and help them out. And with that, we're going to actually use him first in the combat phase here. And hopefully he can mop up the last five ghosts here. Um, so we're going to give him all out attack. Uh, so hitting on twos here. But again, as always with Eshin, we want those sixes. Ooh, no sixes. At least the twos helped. Uh, and then threes to wound. So there's three wounds. Uh, rend one, but rend doesn't matter to Nighthawk. So two going through for D3. We could do it. No. Oh, two damage. Uh, yep. Two All damage. Right. So maybe we go. Let's go. So yeah, you'll still get all three to punch back, but at least you don't get your plus one attack for charging. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go straight into the rats, too. Yeah, yeah. Cut down some numbers. One, two, three. Three, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, threes and twos, actually, because I'm close to the guardian. Yep. Uh, so five, negative one. That's uh, going to just kill five rats. Four here. Number five. And then we're going to pile these guys in and swarm. All right, after piling in, get all of our night runners in there. So we get 15 attacks, plus one more for the leader. So we got 16, hitting on fours. There's two mortals. And then still with the minus one wound, so five, so three regular. Okay, so three regular real quick. Oh. One goes through, so we got three saves. Got to fail them all. I Ooh, we've got one, one left. Uh, we'll take it away from the death master. <laughs> it's a okay. Pretty, okay. pretty still solid because yeah, we'll definitely take the center objective, and then we have our two far objectives, yep. and then we have um, more than half of my army is outside of my territory. So we'll get our battle tactics. So that'll be five points for Skaven to match. Uh, we're gonna spend the point to auto pass with the night runners okay. uh, are you gonna auto pass the 20 yep auto pass them and then roll for them yep so it should be good they are gone uh, is it plus eight yeah they're bravery 10 so, so yeah. two over yeah so that will finish off the first squad um, actually they might not even be bravery 10 i think a game is there right nope undead's all time undead too. too yeah they're ghosts ghosts they're not scared but a little bit <laughs> um, so with that, that's going to be it for Skaven Turn 1. Let's see priority. 
Well, All right. <laughs> can't, can't I saw do the it. wine and just started shaking my head. Yeah. Uh, so with that, we're gonna go to Night Hunt, turn to hero phase. Uh, as Jesse pointed out just before we started his turn, I forgot about my arcane bolts. Always forget when you don't unleash it in point blank range. Uh, so gonna unleash that at the end, uh, just before the battle shock phase. So we'll see. Actually, come on, he's five, got a five up because he still has a spell. Hey, it's okay. It's because I forgot. You know he was gonna make it. Yeah. So with that, we'll go back into night haunt. Turn to hero phase. All right, so turn two hero phase for Night Hot. What's your battle tactic going to be, Jesse? Uh, so we're doing magical dominance. Okay. Um, so just killing something with a spell. All right. Um, I've also got the Nagash uh, ability to bring back three models to a unit. Yep. So bring back to the 20 man unit. Yep. Just plop those guys back in there. Just like that. Awesome. Um, lose all the buffs there, though. Um, sorry, I kind of got ahead of myself there yep, too. No. We'll do Primal as well. Yep. Because I like Primal. Yes. I do not make one. We got one. So we each have one. Okay. Uh, for heroic action, let's do a command point on my general again. Okay. Nope. It's not. Let's try and heal Deceiver to full health. He just gets it. They are very 10 yet because they are demons. Is there little shenanigans? Yes. Cool. So I'll just be back to full health on the Deceiver. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and cast the um, spell to bring back some models there. Okay. Ooh, does go off. Are you going to... I'm going to... It's both 50-50. It could be the Primal Miscast or the Primal... We'll do it, man. We want it. Let's see it. Hey. Okay. Okay. So it makes it an 11. All right. So we will try and deny. All right. Because this brings back D6 models. Yeah, D6. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, come on, let's see. Boxcars. Oof. Even if I got a six. Nope, that one's getting off. Okay, I like that. Yeah. D6. D6 Show me back one. Back for four. four. We'll meet in the middle. We'll meet in the middle. Roughly. I mean, double. Yeah. Kind of? Maybe? Mm, three, I guess. Yeah. There's one, there are now eight. Good old night hunt. Um, and then for casting, we're gonna try hand of dust through the mirror into hey. the death master to get our battle tactic. Uh, uh, plus four. three, I think it goes it does off. Does go off. Uh, yeah, you already used your primal, so you have eight. So it goes off on an eight, yeah. Uh, yeah, we have to deny this. Seven. Uh, using the primal. Yeah. Please not a one. Oh my oh, goodness, okay. so we tied it. All right, so let's see. Oh, it would be from over here, so okay. then you get yep. plus one from okay. the knot hole. Okay. So we will stop that. Dang it. All right, let's do a, um, let's do his signature spell then into the death master. Yeah, you can still. Still get it. Still vapor. It's not as oh, the fun 13. way. 13, yeah, 18. I'm out of primal, so I can't stop that one. Um, so bravery. Uh, what's his bravery? Uh, who on a death match? Oh, sorry, it's I'm I'm doing it wrong. Oh, um, sorry. It's just D six because it was yeah, over a, nine. Yeah, over nine. Sorry, that was my mistake. I'm mixing them up. Four. Oh, oh. he's got one left. All right, let's arcane bolt him. Yep. Pew. pew. And uh, again on a fourteen, I can't. Yeah. Come Are you just doing the one? Yeah, I don't have a ward, so yeah. you don't even have to get close. And kills him with the arcane bolt. No, Deathmaster. Okay, I like that. Let's go to a different spell tree now. So we're gonna do the... So what he's done on three, he has... He's got nine. Five, I think I can do basically five, yeah. all the spells. Pretty much all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we're gonna try for... Uh, Seal of Shyesh on them. Okay. So that is the ward save. Goes off. Uh, we'll also give them the Shade Mist, okay. uh, which goes off. We can uh, we can try for that one. It's yep. what, you got a 10, so we need 11 or a 12. No. no. And then let's do Spirit Drain. So Spirit Drain into these lads. Okay. Seven, goes off no problem. So a dice for each model. There's 15. Sixes are mortals. Yeah. yeah. 
A nice horde spell. Wish it was uh, fives, but. And then I think also. Oh, doesn't do anything else, just that. Yep. Two more. Two. Uh, not the night runners. And then finally, we'll just Mystic Shield himself. Okay. Goes off. Got a nine. We'll try over there by the knot hole to stop it. We stop the Mystic. All right. I uh, believe that's all for him for now. Okay. And uh, you already cast. Did you cast with your guardian? Yeah, so he brought those guys back. Oh, right, yeah. So, um, it for hero phase? That's it for hero phase. All right, so going night hot, turn to movement phase. All right, end of the movement phase for Night Hunt, the 20 man unit with the buffs moving over, swinging around to come near my deployment zone and my general. I used a redeploy on my general to get him three inches back to make that charge a lot harder for that unit. The eight man unit falling back because the beautiful thing of Night Hunt, right, is they can fall back and still charge and put on those debuffs onto the enemy unit. And then the gash ready to come moving over and ready to get that big staff swinging. And then the general. Falling back just a little bit, make sure he's staying behind his unit so he is not too exposed. Um, with that, we're going to go right into the charge phase. Uh, which unit are we going to charge with first, Jesse? Let's start with Nagash. Big guy. Big guy going in. Five. Uh, uh, might need a reroll. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll reroll. Just out. Let's get some new dice. I see a four and a three. He's good. All right, so this is basically gonna go like right here. Just monster and monster. Um, unit uh, twenty that's been demoralized going in. Seven. They're good. That's just a minus one to hit debuff. Yeah. Yeah, and Nagash doesn't give up the debuff like Night Hunt, right? He does not. Because no. he doesn't benefit from any army faction bonuses. It'd be fun if he did. But... Would be kind of cool. There, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we'll do the mortal wounds now. So five ups for Scarlet. Take two. two. Two gone. And then dig unit. Give me something big, boys. Give me a pretty big roll. Ooh. Uh, 11 will do it. I think that'll even make the general with the one. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I so we might as well, because then we can give him strike last. Yep. And then we'll, we'll do the world wounds into him, and then probably just fight the other guys, to be honest. Perfect. Uh, so let's see. Five. Ten. Fifteen. Let's see what here. All right. So five ups. Lots of sixes. Good. Yeah, we got five, six, seven. Seven. Not too shabby. Uh, so we got five up board. We'll stop three of those, so he's going to take four. Okay. So I'll just uh, move these guys, pile them in, and well, I'm not going to fight with them first, but. Yeah, so yeah, we'll let Jesse finish this charge here and then pile in with the first unit he's going to and get right into that combat phase. All right, so starting combat, uh, Nagash is going to be going first, but we do have some monstrous actions, and the Blade Geist charged in here, ready to cut down the Gutter Runners and maybe my General. So Nagash, what's his monstrous action? Gonna We're going to Titanic Duel. Titanic Duel. All right, so you already got the plus one. I'm probably not going to hit to lip. I don't even know. Uh, I'll Titanic Duel as well, <laughs> sure. Cut. And then over here, we might as well um, roar these guys. You get plus one to hit for charging. No, plus yeah. one attacks for charging. Plus one attacks. All right, let's... Yeah, let's roar these guys. Uh, it doesn't go off. Okay. Um, so and then, sorry, you put fight last on this, yeah. on my general, from their impact, and then these guys have minus one to hit from their impact. Yep. All right, so you said you're going to split attack with Nagash? Yeah, so we're going to do um, all of his Zeft Nabdar into the... Um, Deceiver. Yep. So that's four attacks. I'll just do those now. Um, but then we're going to do two of the Alakanash into him as well, but then two of the the, of the staff into the 
little guys there. Yep. And then spectral claws and daggers as well. Gotcha. Uh, so starting with the sword, Zeft. Uh, does hit on two snacks? Yep, All out defense because I know I need it for the guys. Threes. Ooh, only two. Only, only two. two. Minus two. Minus two, so five ops, please. Oh, oh, that hurts. So, yeah, with that, only two staff attacks. He's Six. not dying. Threes. Oh, my goodness, the gash. What you doing, pal? You've been I... slumbering too long. Yeah, let's, all right, let's kill some rats at least. Okay, two staffs into my gutter runners. One goes through, negative three. three yeah, that's D6. six dead rats. Yeah, well, fi kill five rats. There goes five rats. And then spectral claws. Fours. I guess threes technically. Yeah. And then fours. So just one into the rats, no rent. Into the unit on the side? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's one. So we got six rats. Got six of the gutter runners. All right, so Nagash is ready to be punched back. These guys might have a chance, but do we want to try and save those guys? He has fight last, so we can't go with my general. I think we'll go with the gutter runners okay. over here. It'll be the best thing. So we'll grab some dice for these guys. All right, so going with gutter runners over here, we're going to give these guys all out attack, because I think that's our best option. Ah, or save that for the general. Keep in mind they do have the shade mist and right. They've got all the buffs. So yeah, they're minus one to wound and five, five up board. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Yeah, we well, might as well anyways. Gotta go for it. Gotta drop those numbers. Uh, let's look for sixes. Ooh, not too many sixes. Ooh, lots of ones. Minus one to wound, so going to fours to wound. So we got four, seven regular saves. Regular saves, I'll leave that one there. So two through, two, plus the two mortals, so four, four awards. Ooh, Ooh, there's the Nighthound Resilience, so one falls. Boom. Nah. Alright, so we're gonna go with the unit. Yep, try to finish off the night runners. We got eight guys. Ooh, yeah, that's so still 24 attacks. Oof. It's a lot. Just a lot. Eight. And they are praying for the horn rats protection right now. See what they got. Take out the ones and twos. Just auto deaths, um, and then plus one to wound actually because uh, the general's there. Mr. Gotti. So that is four, eight, twelve, 12, 15. 15 minus one. They are just gone, <laughs> rats. Yeah, to call those guys up after, but they are completely wiped. So back to our choice. Again, can't go with the general and help him out. So it's just going to be starting into Mr. Nagash over there. We'll go with, I guess we'll just start with the four gutter runners that are left. Uh, so yeah, hitting on threes. And I get no more. Wounding on threes. Three with rend one. He at least suffers rend. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, so now to the twenty-man unit of blade guys. Yeah. And see these guys will pile in and see where they, how many attacks we can get out of them. All right, so piling in, just is gonna get eleven of the blade guys into <laughs> the gutter runners, trying to just obliterate these guys so we can get rid of all of our thrones. Huh. So he's hitting on threes. Just take out the sixes quick. Okay, and then threes because I'm too far from my general. Ooh, lost a bunch in the wounds. So we got four, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Yep. All right, there are 
and just one? Yep. Six is, I think, if we make five of these, we got one standing. Oh, oh yeah. I saw three right away. Yeah, I know. I got excited. Uh, so these guys are obliterated as well. Get rid of the rest of those bodies. Um, and now that's it for Night Haunt's punches. We just have the two deceivers. And let's go with the general, see if he can avenge those guys. Uh, so going into Blade guys here. Uh, so hitting on threes. He doesn't get his extra because those guys have already fought. Uh, so four hits and two's to wound. Be three wounds that ran three, but it doesn't matter. Boom. Oh. All right, and then the same is into Mr. Nagash. We'll use all the defense. Yep. Uh, so all hit and twos. Can be all wounds. So that is Ren three. He's a three up normally. Yeah. So. But I do have all out and Mystic right nope, now. Nope, we denied. Oh, you denied yeah. Mystic. So just, so just five ups. And he fails all of them. How many damage? That's is it? two apiece, so that's 12 damage. Okay. He's got a five up board. Did he get a five up? Nice. Uh, so yeah, they changed him to uh, every death unit within 12 and just get the five up board. Oh, right. And he Including is himself. Unit. Stop a couple. Four, so he takes eight damage. So he definitely lost that fight. Oh, <laughs> yes. I did not expect that to happen. Got all six through, and then he failed six saves, but. Saved a bunch in the words, at least. Um, and with that, I think that's going to be it for combats this turn. That's going to be, I have the one CP left. We're going to auto pass with our gutter runners uh, standing in front of Nagash. Unless, does he have the new terror or anything? Uh, no, he hand? doesn't, no. Okay. Perfect. So we can get that through, but then we did not do enough damage to any of these Blade Guys units to warrant a morale check for those guys. So that is going to be um, Battle Tactic Achieved for Jesse, and then he took back the center objective and the far objective here. So he has score one, score two, score more. So that is another five points for Night Haunt. As we go into Skaven, turn two, hero phase. All right, so turn two for Skaven. Battle Tactic is going to be led into the Maelstrom. So get to charge with a hero in a battle line, and one of those is still in combat at the end. Um, so with that, we're going to go with, or sorry, see if we get some Primal Dice. I did not get any. Jesse, um, make any primal. for us? Oh, grab this one. Nope. Ah, so no Primal in our phase. Um, and then Heroic Action. I'm going to go Finest Hour with our Deceiver over there. Yeah, I think I probably should just be Finest Hour on the Gash to be safe. Absolutely. Um, and um, I'm also going to Rally that unit there. Yep, so the guys in the center here. 12 dice. Gets two back. And with that, we'll go into some casting. So starting over there, we're going to start with Mr. Grace here. He's going to use his Warp Stone. See if we can't get off. Um, or no, if you deny. Yeah, no, we'll use the Warp Stone. Try and get off the jaws here. That's what we're going for. Uh, so it goes off um, with a 13. I'm going to have to check that because he's getting plus one from the novel. I, I think it's the dice have to add up to 13 to um, trigger his effect. I'm going to double check that. All right, so yeah, I forgot. It can't be modified, so I don't get plus one from the novel. So it would just be take the two highest. So it will go off with a 10. I'll see try. if the dash can get it. No. No, so it's going off, so let's see where the no or the jaws are going to go. All right, so the jaws are out. Let's see where they're going to go. Ooh. They're going to go 12. Do I want to keep that? It's kind of good. Cause you're, what, how much general moves 8 as well? Yep, everything moves 8. Uh, so we can reroll that the turn it was summoned. That's risky. <laughs> I know, to get significant above 8. Um, yeah, no, we're going to keep it and we'll go, we'll move down this way, come flying over here and we'll eat into the, um, blade guys there. Yep. So we'll just do four mortal wounds. Two up. Oh, right, two up. Goes off. Four mortal wounds. So four mortal wounds. On sixes. Boom. Oh, only just two. Um, and then back to casting, he will charge a... 
or he's going to throw a mystic shield onto the deceiver in front of him. It goes off with an eight. Go Nagash. Uh, no. Either way, it's going to... Okay. Um, I guess if I did that. It's... Um, so yeah, it goes off, so he gets the mystic shield. And that's going to be it for the grace here. Uh, now for... Flaming weapon? Yeah, he wants flaming <laughs> weapon. He gets it with a 10. Or 11, Nine he's near the knot hole. Yep. So he's got the plus one. Um, and then he might as well go for arcane bolt. It's the only thing he can do. Oh, it's that with an 11. Come on! No. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then lastly over here... Um, does he just want to skitter away? <laughs> yeah, we're going to try and skitter leap my general. So he gets that with uh, just a 7. He's not close enough to the mount hole. Uh, with uh, Nagash, that'll be that. enough, yeah. Nagash. Plus three. Yeah, he should be within 30 for sure, yeah. Um, that's going to be it. He's got nothing else to cast. Um, so with that, we'll go into Skaven, turn to movement phase. All right, end of the movement phase. I hymned in hard. I decided to leave my general in combat. Um, big run, running with the warp grinder to get him ready for another battle tactic in a later turn. And then bringing the gutter runners over, the gracer over, realizing the targets I was going to end up choosing with my battle line and hero charge are targets I really want to make sure end up dying this turn. Uh, so my gracer might have to try the impossible and make a long bomb charge into Jesse's general. Um, but with that, we're going to go with the gutter runners here, and they're going to throw everything into the blade guys here. Hopefully, we can get rid of this unit. We should. We failed to disturb before. <laughs> Alright, so we got some sixes. Oh, not three. Oops. And then moving on fours here. Ooh, not too great there, just two. Two saves. Stone through, so five, five ward saves. Five up with this corporate. Doesn't matter. Still at least four. Get through the four. And then the four gutter runners point blank into Nagash himself. They give him four mortal wounds up close. Ooh, okay. And then wound in three oh, times. Okay, they want it. Yep. So there's saves. So one gets through, so five wards. So three more get through. That helps. So yeah, he's right. got seven left now. Yep. And then my uh, deceiver locked with him. Do his tail attacks first. Oh. All hit and miss. Throw his doomstar point blank for two shots. Uh, one hit. And one wound. Random two. Good. And then lastly, my general, it's got to go point blank. So he's got to use tail attacks. It's one hit. Something going on with our tails today. No wounds at all. And his Doomstar, oh, one shot hits. And it wounds. And it's blocked. Straight through me. Straight through. And then um, going into charge phase. Let's see. Mr. Grace here. I don't know if you could charge in there, maybe. And not get cut down by all of them. Let's see. Let's see this roll. Come on, don't make me have to think about it. Give him a big charge. Nine. I think that'll be Might just be enough. Let's see, where is Double my... check. See where I can end up. But he's certainly not going into the gash. Ooh. Yeah, he's oh, yeah, the think general there. He's definitely into there, there, though. If you want to go into there. All right, he's doing it. He's got to. got to. And we're going to go very far away as possible. Yep. So they get not as many attacks possibly. Possibly. Probably only two, honestly. And the gutter runner is into the gash. They're going four. I think it's just enough. I'll just quickly measure into the crater there. Uh, just enough. Just enough. Perfect. So we'll move those guys, and then we'll get into combat phase. All right, so Gunner is making it in, so we're going to go to Monstrous Actions. Um, started with my uh, Deceiver. He's going to Titanic Duel. Um, or do I want to risk? I need to roar him. 
So that's Roar. <laughs> we is Roar, so no all out defense for Nagash. Alright, we're gonna try and stop the newly charged rats. You got it. He gets it for D3. That's one, one rat. rat. Stopped yeah. on the foot. And then over here, he is going to stomp the ghost over here. Get some for one mortal wound as well. Mm, yes. And with that, uh, I'm going to activate his uh, relic to give him fight first so I could get uh, two combats first because we got to try and do some damage this turn big time. Um, so I'm going to go in with my general first. Going to save all out attack for the deceiver over there because we got to make sure um, Nagash goes down. So hitting on three. Uh, spend the command point, Eshin specific one, give him plus one to hit and wound. Doesn't need the wound so much, but he'll take the hit from it. So hitting on twos. Didn't need it. And then wounding on twos. So that is six saves. They got four up. Oh, oh my denies god. Denies the rally. They just say no. Not today. All right. And so since that was fight first, going to my start pick, we'll go with my deceiver. Can't use all of defense. No all of defense. <laughs> Um, we will use all of attack, so he's twos and twos, and he has flaming weapon. So those are all gonna hit. Yep. And those are all gonna wound. How many is that? So six at Ren three. Okay. But you are um so five up right now. Yes, so five up. You failed them all last time, he passes oh. one, so that's 15 damage. 15, okay. Because with flaming weapon plus one damage. All right, so we need to make five ups here. He's got to make nine of these. Easy. Easy, Nagash, easy. Oh, one, I two. do see a lot. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so yeah, so it one, two. seven. Ah, uh, is it seven? Yeah, yeah exactly. And that will be the death of He Nagash. explodes! Explode. All right, he is a wizard. <laughs> he has 18 wounds, so on a 4+, plus, everything within 18 inches is going to take D3 damage. Hey! That's a big explosion. Right, so we'll start there. Oh, yeah. Uh, another unit of four. Three of them are gone. Oh, my goodness. Three. Into my the Slayer himself. Takes two. Yeah, he's going to take two. Another Other unit of rats. Taking two. Uh, Grace here. He's taking one. And you can roll for my two characters. And then for your um, ghosts, one and your general takes three. I'll take that. Okay, so general takes three and unit six up. No, okay. it's probably good because that's going to be one less attack on me. Uh, but ow, that really hurt. That yeah, was two there. Boom! That was a big boom. And then there's two on the deceiver who just. Stared down the gash as he came charging in and then said, Get out of here. Um, but with that, that's now going to be Night Hunt's chance for attack. So we're going to go into General yeah. or the Gracier. Let's try and go into General. So it's just going to be the two. Oh, the Gracier, sorry. Yeah, yeah it's, just, it's just going to be the two. But Yep. So four attacks. You did two damage, or the one damage, thankfully, to him. Yeah, so all so these if, you, if you hit perfect, uh, he lives. Uh, one. one. Six. Oh, sorry, two, actually, because nope. of the General. Six. Hey! hey. So he takes one. So he takes two damage. I am actually going to have to double check Mr. Grace here. I do not do combat with him a lot. Oh no, he's got three attacks that are D3 damage. What's he doing? He's sitting on fours. Alright. Uh, miss. Perfect. Yeah! Good Grace here. <laughs> Good job. Perfect. So we will get our battle tactic at least. Perfect. Uh, and then these guys are going to pile in and try yeah. and slap up the general. All right, so after piling in, there's going to be five blade guys slapping into the general, and we are going to give him a lot of defense. We're giving him a lot of attack. Because we got one CP left, nothing to use it, really. Successful. Help me with one attack, at least. Four saves. Uh, Just ran in yeah. one. Oh, sorry, uh, six. Oh, right, six. Yeah, six. It's auto. Yeah. It's auto wound, no. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, six, so plus one, minus one, so back to fours. Ooh, only stop one. Perfect. Fives, stop one, so it takes four more. All right. Ouchie. I can live with that. I can find eight. There we go. So he's got eight damage on him, five left. Um, and that is going to be it for combat. 
it will just be these guys who have um because they've lost seven yeah i think something like that yeah oh so three more that's okay. the unit which would lose your battle oh type. no there goes my battle tactic oh the one time i didn't want it to happen i will auto pass with the full unit of gutter um which makes it so the other one run i think he's guaranteed to flee. run they have very bad bravery for rats. Uh, five. He lost three. So on a one or a two, he will stay. Yeah, yeah get him out of here. Um, but yeah. Oh, with those guys fleeing, I mean, sucks I lost the battle tactic, but I am kind of happy that unit is gone and dealt with. I mean, Guardian Soul's about to bring six back. Right? Yeah, exactly, right? So I guess we'll have to take that. Um, but that might mean... He's within six, which he is, so we will get score one, score two, score more. So we will get three points this turn, but uh, we will nice. give up a battle tactic. Yeah, because I think he's outside, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but, again, thankfully, yeah, so I'm happy. Nagash I think it's them. okay. Yeah, that's the big win is Nagash got taken down. Um, but let's see. Priority roll. We'd love a double. I will take it. All right, let's go to <laughs> Night Hot, turn three. All right, turn three for Nighthawk. What's your battle tactic going to be, Jesse? Uh, so you're doing lead into the Maelstorm. Right, because, nice. yeah, these guys can fall back and charge, so he can get it with his general and his last unit of Blade Geist. I love it. Yep. Uh, let's see some Primal Dice. Uh, make one for us. And Jesse, ooh, two each. Two. All right, all right. Um, Guardian's just one cast? Yeah. It's going to be... Same time. I guess heroic action as well. Yeah, I guess, right. Um... I think we want a command point on him, to be honest. Okay. Does not get it. No. Um, I might as well... I'm gonna find a star with my general. Okay, uh, I'm going to... What spell does he want to do? We'll whore frost him. <laughs> Just All right. Six, I'll throw a primal at it. Yep. Might as well try. Let's throw a primal. You got two, so probably. Oh, we got seven? What are you at? Uh, Eleven? Four, five, six, seven. Eleven, yeah. Yeah, well, I'll keep my primal. Okay. Keep one. So he's got Horfrost. Uh, so what's he get it on his rend? Uh, I'll reroll yeah. that. So he's got yeah, two, right. we'll just make him negative. Uh, we'll, we'll do uh, two to hit. Two to hit, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and then yeah, that'll be it for the hero phase, I think. All right, let's see where those jaws go. Uh, it's only going 10, so it's just gonna kinda, it's kinda go right. Two damage to me. And do two damage, or which side will we end up on? Kind of fly around and stay there. Well, I guess I gotta see if. Oh, yeah, two, up. two plus. Yep. Five up. Takes one. We'll take it. And then get into Night Hunt turn three, movement phase. All right, so end of the movement phase. General's coming in, eyeing up his target to fight the fellow wizard. And then the Blade Guy's falling back, using that opportunity to redeploy and got another four inches away. So it is a seven inch charge for these guys, but I feel confident they can probably make it. They are elite. Yeah. yeah, and your general's right there, so yeah. they can get a reroll in. Um, so with that, we're going to go right into the charge phase, because there's no shooting for the night on. So charging with the blade guys first. Ooh, Ooh not quite. they got we'll a reroll. Yeah, I'll we'll use it. Oh, oh six, double six. So I just want to, I think I might even be too far from him. And he's about seven from them. Cut. So they will chill. It's and not terrible. Uh, Guardian Souls... I mean, you don't have to now. The battle tactic's lost either way. Yeah, I kind of so just want to kill don't, him. But yeah, if you want to kill the Grace here, yeah, go for it. You do have the subjective because yeah, yeah. you fell Let's back. kill him. Let's kill him. Get him. There you go. Ooh, and so he's minus, minus one, one armor save. save. Yeah. Which means he has a six up. All right, I like that. So we can just go straight with So I should have charged the Arcane. Dang. Well, we got Horror Frost at least. Yep, you're two plus to hit. So let's see, Guardian. Oh, so two plus, two plus. 
Love three it. attacks. We're gonna all out. Uh, sense. Makes sense. So two at negative one. Ooh. Two damage each. Um, so yeah, minus. It's minus one. Two, but plus one because of your charge impact. Is, yeah, so minus uh, two. So sixes. We have a save. We got one. Two damage. Uh, yep, so he's got one life left. Oof. No. Poor Grace here. Can you get revenge? On fours. One hit. Fours again. One wound. Red one. Yep. Oh, D3. Two damage. Hey. Two damage. Does he have four on him? I don't know. I thought... No, he, he, took, just says, he took one. He took one. He just, yeah, just the one or the two from the... Ex he took two... One one from the explosion. Mm -hmm. Oh, the jaws. And one from jaws. Okay. I think he just has the two okay, on so Yes, yeah, so he's got one left. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. My bad. All right. Um, and that's going to be it for combat and turn three for night haunt. So unfortunately, could give up a battle tactic, but not as... Detrimental because I gave up one last turn. Um, so, but Jesse still has objective here, center objective, and far objective. So, um, getting score one, score two, score more. So, again, max points this turn for Night Hunt for five points. And uh, no battle tactic. Oh, sorry, yeah, points, what I yeah. Sorry, max <laughs> um, objective score is what I yeah. meant to say, sorry, uh, for three points. Uh, so, with that, we'll get into Skaven, turn three, hero phase. All right, so turn three, hero phase for Skaven. We're going to go for um, magical um, Supreme dominance. dominance. <laughs> we'll end up killing a unit with magical damage. So we hopefully want to kill off Jesse's general here. I think it's magical mayhem now that I yeah, say. Yeah, that's Magical nice. mayhem. Yeah. Um, so with that, we'll see if we can get some primal dice. I do not make another. We still have one. Jesse has got one as well. So you got two now. Two now. All right, and heroic action. Let's heal my general. It's gonna get D three. Gets three back. Love it. We will get him back in bracket. Oh my goodness, where's a five? What's yours gonna be, Jesse? It's just finest tower on my general. Good idea. <laughs> um, and then, so casting. We're gonna start with flaming weapon on my general. He gets it with a twelve. Yeah. Yeah, Jesse knows which one he's waiting for here. Yeah. Uh, well, just to help Jesse out, we'll go to the Arcane Bolt on the Grey Seer. Hey, I'm going to spend Primal. And another Prime. Still not that great. It's a 9. We got 11. Right. See what we get from this, at least. 8. Should be easily stopped with Primal. Primal! Tied it. You got to spend it <laughs> and denies it. No Arcane Bolt. But the jaws are coming. I'm hoping you roll low. The jaws could do it, but the gracer is a double cast, and he's gonna cast wither. <laughs> oh no. Um, so he's gonna go for wither, which goes off. So he rolls two d six, and your wound characteristic is five. Yep. So you gotta roll higher than a five. <laughs> oh! It's we do be, not. It's gonna be with the jaws. It would have been d three, so it's gonna come down to the jaws. Um, and then he's done flaming weapon over here. I guess my general mystic shield himself, which goes off. Okay. And then over there, he is going to skitter leap, which he does. And our other deceiver, as we knock over trees, is going to come flying over here to help hang out with these guys. I guess I'm going to move him back here so we can get an objective while we're there. And then that's going to be it for casting. So we're going to move the jaws. And it's going to move 11. No, no. 2 plus. And see if it can get him. On a 2 plus, it would be 3 mortals. Yep. Oh! oh! Gives up my battle tactic right Beauty. there. All right, he's going to have to do it with the staff then. All right, we'll get into Skaven. Turn 3, movement phase. All right, so in the movement phase, gunner orders moving up, keeping the gray seer locked, and then bringing over my general after warping my other deceiver to close in on these blade guys. We get just in range with the gutter runners. We're gonna throw down into the blade guys to help them out. Look for those sixes. Ooh, just one six so far. I'll take the good stuff because we got a lot of misses there. That's right, so one mortal so far. Whoops, there's one. And four saves for those guys. 
Four saves. Two going through, so three wards so far. Three going down. Fifteen to go. All right, we're going to do both of my general and the other deceiver at the same time. I'm going to use both their doom stars. Uh, I'm going to double check, actually. I forget the ruling for ten or more models for these guys. I haven't, don't normally throw the doom star at large units. Yeah, I'm thinking about an old rule for those guys. So they don't get any bonus there for the doom star except for the mortals. Uh, so throwing both doom stars, how many shots are these guys going to get? You're going to get nine shots. Pretty good. They're hit on threes. Uh, but that's so far four mortals. And we'll name for five more. Okay. So it saves. Three, so that's ten mortal wound saves. Or ten, I guess, ten ward saves altogether, yeah. sorry. Uh, six. Six. Two. two, so eight more. And then one set of tail attacks from the general. Wow, again, just one hit. And it doesn't wound. Okay. Stop using their tails. I don't like it. And with that, we are going to do some charges. So we're going to go general. He's going in. Blah. Uh, got a runner. See if I can support the grace here. They'll make it. And then we'll try for the long bomb. Um, from the other deceiver, he's going to need like at least an 11 because they don't have fly normally. I'll use a reroll. Why not? No, he doesn't make Almost. it. Almost. Solid six. We'll move the gutter runners and then get right into combat with the general. All right, so starting with the general, we are going to um, roar these guys. They are not roared, so they got discorporated at their disposal. Uh, but with that, he's going to go first, Definitely so we get the extra the attacks. Discorporate on them? Yep, and then we use, um, use the action specific, give him plus one to hit and wound, so hitting and wounding on twos. Um, getting the extra attacks because of adversary. And twos, so that's seven. And we cut them down. Four up. They've done it before. <laughs> nah, that that's just... four through. That's 12 damage. Five up. Yeah, it will Think not be enough. That. We'll finish them off. Okay. And then last, we got the Guardian. Can the Guardian kill the Gracier on his way out? Let's try it. Love to see if he kills the Gracier. Still got Horror Frost. Gracier blows up. It's on twos. Six is auto. Two wounds. Two wounds, minus one. Um, I didn't have for all our defense, so it's going to go through and kill him. Two damage each? Yep. Uh -huh. uh, four up, does he explode? He explodes. <laughs> so it'll be D3 damage to uh, the Guardian, and it'll be three mortal wounds to the Guardian. Uh, three sixes. No. no, so we'll kill the Guardian. How much rats did I hurt? I killed the rat. Probably worth it. And then, just for fun, it doesn't matter, but the Guardian would explode. Would he kill more rats? He's a wizard. <laughs> yeah, that's See true. all these explosions. <laughs> No, he didn't yeah. explode. Just chain it. But would be the last, and we'll wipe out the last of the ghosts here today. Yeah. Um, it's an interesting uh, game today, I would say. I was talking with Jesse. I was like, Nagash really kind of underperformed for him. Um, against the Deceiver, I felt like nine times out of ten, he should win that fight. So as I said, today was the exception for the one out of ten that the Deceiver won it. Because um, Nagash now hits a lot harder in melee with his newer profile. Mm -hmm. And then having a 5-up ward increases his um, resilience again a lot more. Um, in some cases, right, in older books, depending on the book where he was allied in, I don't think he even had access to the yeah, ward. And I then when like he a did, six, it maybe would be a 6. Yeah. So back to a 5-up ward for him is great. He also went down in points. Uh, I think he used to be 9-something. And now he's just flat 9. I think he went down like 60 points or something like that. No, yeah, that's really um, good. I think definitely like playing him in Night Hunt or Bone Reaper is probably the best. Um, but I think Blade like, guys go pretty good with them, especially because they're so cheap nowadays. Yeah, um, no, absolutely. Still, if they could fight two rows deep, then we'd be laughing. <laughs> yeah, it's the big bases and not getting two rows deep anymore is a big thing um, for Night Hunt because, yeah, the only 25 millimeter base you have is your chain rats, pretty much. Yeah, well, luckily, like the, the scythe guys do get, you know, two inch. Two inch yeah, reach. they have a two inch reach. But right? it's you're hitting on fours and it's not as not as damaging. No, and then blade guys get the extra attack for charging as well. So yeah. lots of things. 
Lots of things like that to consider. And when... just Mortal Wounds on the charge is always fun. Yeah, <laughs> Scarlet Doom is really, really popular for that. Absolutely. Yeah, can't can't go wrong with impacts. It, it's such a great workaround, especially even like Jesse did against like big monsters. Didn't end up killing them, but getting some of that just starter damage in. Sometimes, if you guys have seen in previous battle reports, when Night Hunt charged in, that it has just absolutely popped off. Yeah. Um, like especially even when he's done it into like megas, he's like with a unit of twenty, he's Sometimes done like twelve you mortals get super or something lucky, like yeah. that. Yeah, it can be really, really spicy and just be really, really effective. But um, yeah, it was a really great uh, matchup today. Had some kind of weird back and forth there, trying to finish off the night hunt, who can be quite annoying with their falling back, getting to rally, and then having some of those yeah. revive and heal spell effects. Um, so it made it so it took till the third turn there to deal with that, um, or I guess till the bo bottom of second turn to deal with that 120 man squad so it took quite a bit of um attacks and focus there but yeah super fun battle report hope you guys enjoyed the more little different list the assassination attempt of nagash was successful today by clan eshin um not sure who made that contract might have been gotrek might have been somebody else in the empire or one of the free cities might have even been a vampire might have been a vampire. <laughs> yeah you never know yeah easily could be undead <laughs> let's say arcan but arcan would just do it himself yeah um but with that hope you guys really enjoyed the battle report be sure to like comment and subscribe and join the channel as a full-time subscriber it helps support the channel and we can give you guys some more awesome materials for the channel more armies more terrain um, and more battle mats and more improvement um, for recording and everything like that so please feel free to support us um, if you guys are in town uh, i believe it's now next weekend um, as we're recording this um, end of the month uh, GT tournament at Game Night Leagues here in London so be sure to come on out and you should hopefully be able to see Jesse or I and come say hello to us and if you're looking for any used models be sure to check out Thunder Games and Gifts those guys will take care of all your used model hobby needs and until next time guys thanks again for watching another battle report have a good one